Hey everyone, welcome to Creative Bath Lab. Today, I'm showing you how to make oatmeal, milk, and honey shower gel. There's a reason this combination is used so often, and that's because it's great for skin. You'll be amazed at how simple this shower gel is to make and how great it works. A shower gel recipe needs three things, a liquid carrier, a thickener, and a surfactant to clean and for lots of suds. All other ingredients are optional and can be customized to suit your needs. Make a really thick shower gel or a really thin one. I added some gold mica for a bit of color and a light shimmer. Add the thickener. Depending on how thick or thin you want the shower gel, add more or less thickener. Now, slowly stir in the surfactant, little by little. Start with 10 milliliters, then sample it. You can always add more for additional suds and lather, but this time around I realized it doesn't take much surfactant to get a good lather going. Don't use the thick blender once the surfactant is added in. I pulsed some oats in my blender and then added a small amount for texture. I am constantly creating new projects and updating recipes. Subscribe now to stay current and for more awesome tutorials just like this. Walnut shells provide contrast in color and texture and gives the shower gel those gorgeous little specks. If shower gel is too thin, blend water and guar gum together to get a thick jelly emulsion. You can't add the jelly to the shower gel. It will dissolve as if nothing was added at all. Instead, fold in a little bit of shower gel at a time. It 
If shower gel is too thick, you can add liquid to thin it, like oil, melted butter, water, or a surfact or sur oh my god, a surfactant. I printed these labels, then covered them in deco foil. For deco foil information, hit the icon. I've linked a PDF file of the labels in the description. I upcycled small bottles with red caps. After spray painting the caps, I found other types that would have matched perfectly. My point is you shouldn't have to buy bottles for this project. Any plastic bottle will do. These particular small bottles were very useful in more ways than one and turned out to be perfect for this project. Wash and dry the bottles. Take the label off with a scraper and expose the underneath. Apply a solvent to the sticky area, let it set for five minutes, then wipe it off. This shower gel is awesome. It produced lots of suds and lather. I tried using a different, smaller loofah. The netting was much tighter and closer together, and it didn't produce nearly as much suds as this one. It smelled amazing, and the scent lingered on my body for a while after. The gel produced so many suds that I couldn't ever fully rinse the loofah. Suds just kept reappearing. Thanks for joining me today. Check out the description for helpful tips, the recipe, and the supply list at the bottom.